I've, I've, I've been seeking health and functionality for a long time. I, I used to be a very bad alcoholic. I used to eat very poorly. I would sit around playing video games for hours and hours on end. And, but before that, I was an athlete. I had been in wrestling. I had been in football. Uh, I, I accumulated some injuries from that, and, and I stopped doing that. I stopped doing martial arts. I stopped doing all the things that I like to do. And then I found myself uh, working for a company that was a very physical job. And that was beating the hell out of me as well. And I just I wanted to be able to move well again. So I went on a journey to seek my health. And it started with MFR. I've been doing MF MFR for a long time. And um, <clears throat> then I found functional patterns. And it was starting to put the puzzle together in a way that nobody else is. They're, they're, they're put. They're like body mechanics. They're they look at you in a way that uh, highlights your deficiencies, but in a way that they can fix it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I've always kind of been that way. So when I found functional patterns, it was not. A difficult jump for me because I just I'm always reading books I'm always trying to solve my problems in my life um, and find better more efficient ways so find more sustainable ways so sustainable movement to me was a, a very simple jump like even if you wanted to talk about the Venus project I had heard about that a long time ago and that really sparked that in me as well so I was like my house is going to be sustainable I'm gonna have solar uh, energy I'm gonna farm and have my own food I'm gonna be able to live off my own land if I had to you know what I mean so for me it wasn't it wasn't a very hard jump I can understand why other people might have that that problem but if we want to progress the human race the way that we're in, revolving around the way that we intend to, then we've got to be sustainable. So movement in itself is one of those things because if everyone was uh, sustainable in their movements, then we would have less injuries. We'd have less uh, burden on the healthcare system, you know, everything. So for me, I'll always take personal res responsibility and, and, and push through those boundaries and, and try to find ways for me to be more helpful to society, for me to be more sustainable in my own uh, behaviors and, and, and stuff like that. I, I try to find a way that I can connect with that person first, you know what I mean? So maybe it's just MFR, maybe it's just releasing some areas and, and showing them, hey look, if you if this is very tight and you can just get this and then I and from there I'm like and then if you wanted to take it further functional patterns can start to help you integrate your your movement better and 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 push your 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 boundaries or your your limits and your physicality well I mean I would say you know nothing happens in isolation and that's true for for all things I mean everything is constantly integrated every single thing like me and you right now we're integrated into this ecosystem you know what I mean so on the large scale and on the small scale everything is integrated so if you're trying to isolate a muscle I would say something like that it just doesn't work that way sure you're gonna have a giant bicep but what does that do for you does that make you run faster no does that make you walk better no and that's what you need to be able to do I am much more pain free than I had been, even with all the MFR I have been doing for two, actually it would be more about six years because I started on really lot, like soft stuff and I didn't for years beyond that find out about like lacrosse balls and like the deeper like getting in there and, and finding more principles about it and, and really getting and integrating that into, into my uh, life philosophies, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm, I'm moving like ridiculously better, like there's no way I would have done that at all. And you, even a year ago, because I was I was so destroyed, and I only found functional patterns maybe what is it, September. Uh, it's made work a lot easier. I mean, I I went through an extreme amount of pain for many years doing my job. I couldn't even bend over. You know, I couldn't. I could barely move my arms, and I'm driving a truck all day long. So, uh, her showing me how to get my shoulders in the proper position, which this is the first time I've ever even had them in the proper position. So it was very difficult. And 
that's going to be very helpful because now I'm going to be able to focus on that while I'm doing my job and be even more pain free, which is all I which is all I ever intended to in the first place. You know what I mean? I just wanted to be able to do my job and do it effectively because I've, I've been not the best driver for a long time. Uh, I, I limped and just crawled through many, many painful days and, and, and educating myself here with functional patterns has really changed that. It's been, there's, I mean, there's no going back for me. I'm, not, I'm never gonna go like, oh, I need to start doing deadlifts. There you go, I'm gonna start lifting my biceps again because it doesn't do anything for you. I wanna be able to get back into martial arts. That's gonna help me here. I need to be able to get my movements integrated again. So, you know, Frida's really helped me do that, of course. Um, through the Functional Patterns community, you know, just talking to people, watching people talk about stuff, and I reached out. I don't remember who it was exactly who pointed me in her direction. I could probably find out if I looked through my messages and whatnot, but she was the closest one to me, so, you know, I, I was very serious. I was like, I'm going to go out there. I want to learn this. I want to see if it works. You know, I'm going to put myself to the test. Maybe they are bullshitting me. I don't know. But I'm going to go out and find out. And I've been pleasantly surprised. Well, I'm definitely coming back. I like hanging out with Frida. I want her to beat me up some more here and functionally beat me up. You know, I'm making a, a lot of progress, I feel. And uh, I, want to, I, want to, I want to see more. I want to, I'm going to be back. I'm, I'm also going to go to uh fp in seattle in may i want them on vacation because i think that's going to be really good for me as well and then uh i'm just going to keep going i'm just going to keep reading i got anatomy trains i've got my power posture book i just i'm going to keep i want to, i want to know it all you know what i mean initially i just wanted to be my own body mechanic for so i could do my job and if i see something start going wrong i'll be able to fix it always at least try you know what I mean? Well, there's nothing wrong with trying. If you change something and you don't like it, then you can just change it again. The only thing that ever stays the same is change, and there's nothing wrong with changing. So I would always say that. I mean, whatever it has to do with, you know, always push yourself, always try new things, always explore, always try to be better. I try to be better than who I was yesterday. Every day I try to be better than who I was an hour ago, you know what I mean?